figure, Frank Castro, was gunned down on Wednesday night in Punta Gorda. Sometime around 7.40 p.m. yesterday, that was the 22nd of April 2015, the police received a phone call of a shooting incident in the area of Yanville. Uh, that would be on Corozal Street, Fana with Kyle, that someone has just received gunshots. And as a result of that, the police responded. Um, he was taken to the Sintagora uh, Hospital, and he was pronounced dead about eight minutes upon his arrival there. He was pronounced dead on arrival. And the police, they are later identifying him to be from Castro. An observation on the body revealed that he was shot uh, to the, I would say, to the upper part of the left side of the body. That's on the left arm. He was shot in that area and he succumbed to the injuries that he received. Police say they are following several leads, but the motive is still unclear at this time. And at this time, the police is conducting their investigation. We have brought several suspects interviewed and we have released some of them, but the investigation continues. The motive at this time is unclear, but we are still working as to find out exactly what had happened. Have you had the opportunity to speak with family and do they know if he was being threatened or if he was involved with any in any problem with perhaps one or more persons down there in Punta Gorda? I spoke with some of the family members last night at the hospital and they are unable to see whether he has any personal grievance or misunderstanding with any specific person. So we are relying now on the public to assist in making an arrest for this uh, first murder in Punta Gorda, Florida District. But with a rap sheet like Castro's, speculations are that perhaps his past caught up with him. He has lived a life of crime for many years and spent most of his life incarcerated. The laundry list of his deeds include robbery, kidnapping, murder, and conspiracy to commit murder. He made headlines several times when he escaped from prison. His count was over eight times, including back in 1997 with several other inmates, and then again in 2000 with three other prisoners. But for almost two years since he left prison, he settled peacefully in Punta Gorda. Mr. Castro, uh, he is no stranger to the police. Uh, he was recently released from prison after spending a 21 years in prison term. So he was released sometime in early 2013. In 2001, as a part of the prison's rehabilitation efforts, Castro was one of the inmates who wanted his victims' forgiveness. I got a lot of victims and things in a society. Check. And I feel for them same way. Check out of something wrong. I can, I can do for try harm them. Check. And right now they are do 15 years for a temporary. Check for I gonna try a temporary one lady, Miss Darlene Murphy. Check, and you know if they see or they listen, you know I just want to learn. Sorry for what I gonna do to one. Check, and I hope you forgive me and thing. Reporting for News Five, I'm